Let's learn about views in my SQL. Views are like real tables. They contain rows and columns, but they usually contain fields from one or more tables. You're probably wondering why am I creating views when I already have tables? So let's understand the purpose of views. First purpose is security. Your views can be made accessible to users and you can show them only the data they need to see. The second use case is simplicity. Views are simple and can be used to hide complex queries. Third is to show aggregated data where queries are generating some average and presents the final output in the form of a view. Now let's take a look at a use case. So here's a table, a customer table, where we have five customers, John, Jane, Mike, Sanjay, and Andy. They live in the states of Texas, Washington, Illinois, and California. Now let's say a leader in Texas wants to see a list of all customers living in Texas. Typically what you would do is you would say select city from or select star from customer where state equal to Texas. But if that leader can write or modify a SQL queries, the leader can see all the data. And let's say you don't want to show all the customers. You only want to show a list of customers who belong to Texas. So you're creating a separate view for your product owner or for your leader in Texas. So the way to do that is you would say create view. And then just like table, you would give the view a name. In this case, it would be Texas customers as, and then you write your SQL query, which is select customer name state from customers by state equal to Texas. That's all there is. So again, just to simplify, you say create view, you give it a name as, and then you enter your SQL statement. So let's take a look at this with the help of a live demo. Let's take a look at a view with a live example. So what I've done is I've written select star from customer. And as you can see, we have customers who live in United States, India, and Canada. Let's assume that you want to create three views, one for United States, one for India, one for Canada. All right. So the way to do that is you would say select or rather create. Then you enter the keyword view. And I'm going to say customers underscore India as select star from customers where country equal to India. All right. And I'm going to run this query. So when I run this query, a new view is created. So I can simply hit refresh. And once I do that, I will now see customers underscore India. So let's remove this and say, select star from customers underscore India. Now, if I hit run, I only get customers from India. So I can create these different views for United States as well as for other countries. This makes data accessible, secure, and that is the purpose of views. Now I'll see you in the next lecture.